The green industry sector is a key APEP sector, one of the new sectors, uh, categorized as a sector with very high potential uh, to be a major contribution contributor to economic growth with high economic and employment multipliers. Uh, we did this not only from the perspective of the Department of Trade and Industry because renewable energy is uh, an indispensable uh, part of South Africa's economic growth and carbon mitigation strategy, but it must be accompanied by a set of strategies and concrete programs to ensure that manufacturing localization also takes place so that the economy does not lose out on one of the new waves of global industrialization. The, the South African local PV industry is actually only at the emerging stage, despite the fact that uh, you know the first uh, solar PV systems uh, were already installed in the 1980s. It was mainly done uh, through the fee-for-service uh, concessions uh, in rural areas of uh, the Eastern Cape and KwaZulu Natal. Um, as of 2012, we estimated that there were about, or at least. Uh, 30 megawatts of uh, solar PV uh, uh, systems installed in the country. Uh, looking into the future, um, if we look at the utility scale market segment, which primarily comprises of the projects that uh, are built under the Renewable Energy IPP program, and that include projects that are uh, usually more than one megawatt uh, of installed capacities, uh, that particular market segment will definitely uh, um, dominate uh, the uh, local PV industry in the near to medium term. And uh, considering just the bid window one and bid window two uh, approved projects, we can already say that uh, there will be at least 1.1 gigawatt of uh, solar PV projects that will be installed in the next couple of years. It's not just the utility scale market segment that has uh, the ability to create jobs along the entire value chain, but actually uh, there is a much bigger uh, socioeconomic benefit associated with uh, the uh, development of your commercial, industrial and residential market segments, or your non-utility market segment. Of course, uh, um, the local content or increase in localization will come with a premium. And um, the rationale for that assumption is the fact that uh, if we were to now start establishing new capabilities or expanding existing uh, uh, manufacturing uh, capacities, uh, our industry uh, uh, will not be as price competitive uh, in the immediate future compared to the imported uh, products. So um, in our modeling, we did make a provision uh, for the increase in uh, unit costs of uh, various components with the, uh, that, that is linked to the increase in the local content. Um, on average, as you can see, uh, the uh, increase in the unit cost of uh, uh, solar PV systems or, or solar PV projects, depending on which market we are actually looking at, will be between 6 and 9.5%. Uh, on one hand, uh, the increase in localization will, uh, as I said, lead to the increase in the unit cost, but it also will offer the opportunity to actually increase uh, um, the employment in the industry. Um, on average, uh, depending on, again, which market segment you're looking at, uh, the uh, employment multiplier in the local PV industry will uh, increase by between uh, 40 to 50 percent. Uh, so it's definitely uh, beneficial for the South African economy to consider localization and to make sure that uh, uh, we try and achieve uh, the highest local content possible.